Hey everyone, Sean here from Tesla Family. It's here. In this box is what the Estes Model Rocket website states as being the most anticipated model rocket of the year. This is the Estes 1 100th scale SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket topped with the Dragon Crew spacecraft. I ordered this 17 minutes after the email blast went out to the Estes Rocket Rewards members. And five days later, it showed up at my house. Let's do an unboxing and I'll show you some details. All right guys, we're here in the dining room and man, this is such a cool delivery to show up today at the house. I've been watching SpaceX rocket launches for a number of years now, especially those Falcon Heavy launches. Those are super awesome to watch. So when Estes came out with this Falcon 9 rocket that they announced a month or two ago, I was right on that waiting list for an email. I'm not a huge model rocket guy. I did fly a few when I was younger and I recently got my daughter into model rockets, but this has got to be a really cool collector's edition. Let's go ahead and start opening this box up. All right, here's the packing slip. Just to let you know, I paid $183 for this rocket, which I believe is Estes most expensive model rocket ever. It was $149.99 for the rocket plus $22 in shipping. When this box showed up, I guess I can see why. And then around $10 of tax. All right, it's packed really well. There's a number of these air pouches in the box to keep it protected. And here's the rocket in the box. They've got it wrapped up in some tissue paper. Let's go ahead and open that up. All right, we're gonna do a little close up of the box. Nice matte black finish. We have slight bit of gloss on here but a super nice box. It's got the SpaceX logo, Falcon 9, Crew Dragon, Flying Model Rocket, scale 1 100th, all the way up to the top. SDs, a collaborative effort with the world's best in model rocketry. SpaceX logo on the one side, here on the back. On the top, we talk about SpaceX Crew Dragon and the detail from the windows to the Super Draco engines to the trunk heat shield and side hatch talking about the specifications of the crew dragon spacecraft and then we get into the falcon 9 rocket being the reusable two-stage rocket designed and manufactured by spacex and the specifications 22,800 kilograms mass payload to low earth orbit payload to mars over 4,000 kilograms nine times Merlin 1D engines for the first stage propulsion. Second stage propulsion, one Merlin 1D vacuum engine. And we've got a beginner skill level. This is a flying scale model. It is 25.6 inches long, 1.44 inches in diameter, weighs around four ounces, has a parachute recovery. Projected max altitude of 300 feet on a C6-3 engine, but there are recommended engines of C5-3 and C6-3. Also includes this custom display stand, removable nozzles for display, and a clear fin unit for flight. He's a seam ripper, there we go. Ah, uh, 
still has that new box smell. And the moment we've been waiting for after all this suspense and all this packaging, let's go ahead and pull back the foam. Oh yeah. Wow, this thing is super cool. It's a ready to fly rocket. So really I don't think there's anything we have to do to prepare it other than put the fins on when we're ready to fly it. Here it is. Wow, look at the incredible detail of this. Looking at the end here, we've got the nine Merlin engines. Of course, we've got the landing legs here. These do not fold out. Four landing legs. SpaceX written on the side, American flag, Falcon 9. We've got the grid fins used for landing of the first stage. And here's the rings for the launching rod. We go up to the top of it. And here's the second stage. And at the very top, my very own, oh, detachable, just like the nose cone, Dragon Crew spacecraft. We pull this out. It already has a shock cord installed. What's really cool is the detail here with the solar panels on the black side of the Dragon. Very nice detail. Further into the box. We've got a smaller box here. Looks like this might be the display stand. We have an 18 inch parachute, recovery parachute. Look at this, just produced here on October 20th. So very, very new. All right, here's some instructions. Twist off the engines, push the display rod into the display adapter. Okay, we're gonna put that in where the engine goes and then put it all back together here on the display stand. Let's try this display. Okay. So, take off our Merlin engines and this is where we'd be putting in the C engine. Put this into the engine here. Now we'll put the Merlin's back on. And we should be able to drop it into the display stand now. Aha. So here's our rocket on the display stand. We'll tuck the recovery cord back in, the shock cord. And we will top on the Dragon spacecraft. You get a clear fin unit if we were gonna fly it. It goes on the same way. So we'll take the display off the bottom. We would put an engine in. And then after the engine is loaded in, you put this, the fin unit on the bottom. Give that a twist and this is how it would look for flight. A little bit of stability with the fins and it's nice that they're clear so it doesn't take away from the look of the rocket. Sits nice and level. All right guys that's it for the unboxing. I wanted to show you what the Falcon 9 rocket looks like on one of the launch pads here. So I brought that inside. You can see it here on the launch pad. I do have the uh, fins attached to the bottom. And I also wanted to show you a comparison to some other rockets that I have. So we're gonna stand the Falcon 9 
next to the Amazon. And we can already see that the Amazon rocket is about three inches taller than the Falcon 9. And the crossfire here is about half to a little more than half the height of the Falcon 9. So that's it on this quick review. Like I said, I'm not gonna launch the rocket. I'm too afraid of losing this $150 rocket somewhere in a tree. That would just be horrible. So I'm gonna just keep it on the display stand and uh, put it somewhere here in the house where I can uh, take a look at it from time to time. If you enjoyed the video, give me a like, leave a comment below if you have any questions or comments, and hit that subscribe button below if you'd like to see more content from Tesla family. Most of my information is on my Tesla Model 3, soon to be a Cybertruck owner and solar panel and power wall owner as well. I also am a full self-driving beta tester. And of course, if you're a big space junkie like me, check out the link to this video above where I rented a Tesla Model 3 in Florida and we drove out to the Space Coast to attempt to see a Falcon 9 launch. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you really enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to Tesla Family Channel here on YouTube. We really appreciate all of our subscribers and everyone who watches our videos. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you soon. Check out all of our other videos as well. Also, follow us on Twitter at Tesla Family Chan. Use my referral code to buy Tesla solar roof or solar panels. You'll get a reward after system activation.